Dinjang, Dinjang thick sauce, or soybean paste is a type of fermented bean paste made entirely of soybean and brine. It is also a byproduct of soup soy sauce production. It is sometimes used as a relish. History The earliest soybean fermentations in Korea seem to have begun prior to the era of the Three Kingdoms. The Records of the Three Kingdoms, a Chinese historical text written and published in the 3rd century AD, mentions that, "...Goguryeo people are good at brewing fermented soybeans," in the section named Dong Yi Eastern foreigners, in the Book of Wei. Jangdoks used for Dinjong production are found in the mural paintings of Anak Tomb No. 3 from the 4th century Goguryeo. In Samguk Sagi, a historical record of the Three Kingdoms era, it is written that Dinjong and Ganjang, along with Miju and Jayotgal, were prepared for the wedding ceremony of the King Sinmun in February 683. Sikwaji, a section from Goryosa History of Goryeo, recorded that Dinjong and Ganjang were included in the relief supplies in 1018, after a Khitan invasion, and in 1052, when a famine occurred. Joseon texts such as Guinchwaryo and Jungbo Salim Jongjae contain detailed procedures on how to brew good quality Dinjong and Ganjang. Duhop Changseo explains how to pick a date for brewing, what to forbear, and how to keep and preserve Dinjong and Ganjang. Production Dinjong is made entirely of fermented soybean and brine. Soup soy sauce is also made during the Dinjong production. Miju, Korean soybean brick, is made around Ipidong in early November. Soybeans are soaked overnight, boiled in salt water, and then pounded in a mortar or coarsely ground in a millstone. About a dough approximately equals 1.8 liters or 2 does of pounded soybean is chunked, compressed, and shaped into a cube or a sphere called miju. The miju bricks are then dried in a cool, shaded area for a week to several weeks until firm. When the bricks harden, they are tied with rice straws to the eaves of the house, or put in the warm andal room with rice straws, for fermentation. In Jungwool, the first month of the lunar year, well-fermented miju bricks are washed and sun-dried. After drying, the miju bricks are aged in ongi crocs with brine. Charcoal and chilies are added for their absorbent and antibacterial properties, as well as folk religious beliefs that they drive evil spirits away. When fermented well, the aged miju chunks are mashed to become dinjong, and the filtrate is boiled to become ganjang. Types Though dinjong and ganjang are usually made together, dinjong can also be made without producing any filtrate. Tojang Korean, tojang when the aged brine is boiled to become ganjang, the rest aged miju chunks are mashed to become tojang. Jangjae Korean, jangjae smaller amount of brine is used from the beginning. No soy sauce is produced in the process, and the miju aged with the smaller amount of brine becomes jangjae, another type of dinjong. While traditional dinjong is made with soybeans and brine only, many factory made variants of dinjong contain a fair amount of wheat flour just like most factory made soy sauce does. Some current makers also add fermented, dried, and ground anchovies to accentuate dinjong's savory flavor. Korean Ministry of Food and Drug Safety's Food Code classifies dinjong into three categories by their ingredients. Hansik dinjong, Korean, hansik dinjong Korean style fermented soybean paste. Dinjong made with traditional style miju and brine. Dinjong, Korean, dinjong fermented soybean paste. Dinjong made with non-traditional miju, which can be made of soybean, rice, barley, wheat, or degreased soybean, and ripened using traditional method or aspergillus and saline solution. Seasoned dinjong, Korean jomidinjong product that contains more than 90% of dinjong or hansik dinjong. Topic use. Dinjong can be eaten as a condiment in raw paste form with vegetables, as flavored seasoning or even as a dipping condiment. However, it is more commonly mixed with garlic, sesame oil, and sometimes gochujang to produce samjang, which is then traditionally eaten with or without rice wrapped in leaf vegetables such as red leaf lettuce. This dish is called sambop. 
This combination of leaf vegetable and doenjang or samjang often complements popular Korean meat dishes, for example samgopsal, bulgogi, bibimbap and basam. It can also be used as a component of soup broth, for example in a popular stew called doenjang jjigae which usually includes tofu, various vegetables such as chili peppers, zucchini, and scallion, and optionally mushrooms, red meat, or scallops. Nutrition and health Doenjang is rich in flavonoids and beneficial vitamins, minerals, and plant hormones phytoestrogens which are sometimes claimed to possess anticarcinogenic properties. In Korean traditional meals, the menu has concentrated on vegetables and rice, but doenjang, which is made of soybeans, has a great deal of lysine, an essential amino acid that rice lacks. Linoleic acid, 53% of the fatty acids, and linolenic acid, 8% of the fatty acids, have an important role in normal growth of blood vessels and prevention of blood vessel-related illness. Doenjang's efficacy still exists after boiling in dishes such as doenjang jjigae. Topic: Outside Korea. Doenjang is considered one of the essential sauces of authentic Korean cuisine. However, the condiment has historically been unknown outside of Korea, although recent international articles have resulted in an increase in its popularity. A 2007 Chinese article on the ''Sauces of Korea'' listed doenjang and gochujang as essential flavorings, and explored the origins of the condiments, particularly focusing on Suncheong County, where most Korean soy sauce is produced. The article pointed out that doenjang does not contain any artificial additives and in fact has healthy amounts of essential vitamins, such as vitamin C and vitamin B12. The health benefits of doenjang are rumored to extend longevity, and this is illustrated by the fact that out of the 32,000 people in Suncheong County, eight are over 100 years old, and many are over 90. The article was influential throughout China, resulting in many Chinese restaurants adding doenjang jjigae modified slightly to Chinese tastes, to their menus shortly after publication. South Korea's Joongang Ilbo covered this story in China on December 13, 2007. Claims are being explored about the role of doenjang in reducing visceral fat, though most studies have only been done on rodents. However, one study on humans does exist, which suggests that its visceral fat reduction properties are also present in humans. <laughs> similar food A very similar fermented soybean paste in northeast China is known as dajong. The tradition of eating dajong is said to have been started by the Manchu people, who originally occupied China's northeastern provinces. Northeastern Chinese people enjoy eating raw vegetables in the summer, and dajong is used like a salad dressing to add flavor. Northern Chinese yellow soybean paste also bears a great similarity in texture and taste to Korean doenjang. Doenjang also bears similarities to Japanese miso, although miso is fermented with a fungus Aspergillus oryzae, and doenjang is fermented with a bacterial culture Aspergillus oryzae and Bacillus subtilis. Popular culture Doenjang jjigae was the basis of a Korean movie called The Recipe, released in 2010. It was about a death row inmate who makes his last wish for a bowl of the stew. Doenjang girl is a popular term for women who indulge in luxurious products to show off, despite not being able to afford them. See also Cheonggyukjang Fermented bean paste Korean cuisine List of condiments List of fermented foods List of fermented soy products Natto Tuang Yellow soybean paste